Today we are continuing work on our 1984 trailer. As you guys can see it does need work and today we're going to be underneath. We previously removed all the skirting so that we could get under there and today I'm going to try to pull down all the underbelly. Underbelly is the insulation and the, the vapor retarder. I guess we're just going to get right into it. Let's get under the house and start working. Before we begin, I just wanted to show you guys what we're working with here. As you can see, we have a lot of vines that we have to clear out because they're covered in thorns, not gonna be fun to work around. And the paper underbelly, this is not typical of a mobile home from what I've seen, but it's made out of paper instead of plastic and it holds up the insulation. And I'll show you the insulation when we pull it down. It's not super thick. And I wanna point out what makes this home a trailer or a mobile home versus like a modular home is the fact that we have a metal chassis. So you see there's metal running back here. That, that's what supports the house. The metal is actually a trailer frame, which means it had wheels and axles on it and it was pulled to the property by a truck. There was a hitch at the other end. Since the home has a metal frame, it's considered a trailer. Modulars don't have that. Yeah, They're I'm... brought in on a flatbed and lift it into place with a crane. Well, maybe I'll start it at the end. It might be easier to just work your way. Yeah, I'll do that. It's still scary when stuff falls down toward your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> like even when you have the mask on. Make sure you're getting good recording. I just found a ring pop! <laughs> it's gone! It dissolved! Yeah. Wow, that's sad. I thought I got a treat there. Yeah. Under the home. I got it! Wow, that's what it was. It was wedged between the chassis and the framing. Why? I have no idea. Probably been there since they built the place. Weird. I think 
pop. I don't know what a ring pop is. Ugh. Boy, I feel like I'm in a tangled web. No, it's really filthy. That stuff's annoying, isn't it? Yeah. I think you need Mike Rowe helping you with this job. What? You need Mike Rowe helping you with this job. Yeah. I can do it. It's going okay so far, but I think this is one of those jobs that are harder than I thought it would be. So I want to tell you guys what it's like under this home. First of all, it's cramped. It's 
hard to get under all the beams and everything. I'm just happy when I can sit up in between the joists, but it's, it's tight. And on top of the tightness, I keep getting tangled up in these strings from the, from the underbelly paper. And it really makes you feel like almost claustrophobic, even though I'm open to the air. When you start getting to the point where you can't move because you're tangled up and you can't get up and you're all trapped, and then you look around you and you got spiders, you got giant crevice spiders up in the underbelly. Oh, there is? Yeah, there's cockroaches up there. And you see all these things crawling. And then when you're trapped and you know that if something's crawling on you, you can't get away because you're going to be all wrapped up in these strings. It just makes you feel panicked. Like, okay, get these off me. Yeah. And then every piece of insulation I pull down, there's like debris falling on me and I don't know what to expect. I don't know if a snake's going to fall out. I don't know if a bug, a mouse. <laughs> Luckily, it's all just debris from the house. But, you know, you never know what's going to fall on you. And you got thorns grabbing you from these vines that are growing under and I got ants crawling on the ground getting on my arms yeah. it's a disaster under there How are you doing in there? I don't know. Do you have any idea how annoying it feels to be tangled up in this? Yeah. Oh, I hate this stuff. Me too. That's why the brake was Well guys, I thought I'd take a quick break to let you know how it's going. So far, very tedious. <laughs> it's harder than I expected. I thought it would be more like tear it down, who cares? But that paper is embedded with all these thousands of fiberglass strings to give it strength. And they just are hard to rip, hard to cut, 
and get all wrapped around everything, wrapped around me, I can't move. It really slows you down because you can't just pull it down, you gotta keep cutting and hacking and yanking and look at my arms. And this is all just because of, probably my neck, because of the, uh, the black vapor retarder, whatever it is, on the paper that's all flaking off. It used to be black. It just flakes everywhere on you. I more or less, I gotta get the little tiny front, but I more or less got the entire middle of the home stripped and I got this entire side stripped. So now we're two thirds of the way done and I have to go on the other side of the home and do the last outside edge. I want to wipe my mouth and as you can see I have nowhere to wipe it. Show your arms. I did. Your neck is disgusting. Turn. Ew. <laughs> this helmet has been tr tricky to wear under here because this is supposed to go on your back but if it's on my back I keep laying on it and smothering it into the dirt where I need to be getting the air from and so it blocks the air, but not only that, it smells like dirt. When it's behind me, all I smell is dirt. <laughs> so I put it on my belly because then I can crawl around and lay down easier. Um, but then it gets a lot of the debris falling on it. It clogs quick. I already had to clean out the filter once. And uh, you know, it gets blocked by my clothing. It's just awkward, but we're making do and I'm glad I have it. That's all. I guess I'm gonna walk around the other side, get under there and hopefully Finish this job up. Boy, we haven't even touched the wires and the plumbing yet, but at least we're making progress on oh, this. Yeah. And the dumpster is overflowing. a little bit bigger than I expected when they came out. Ashley's got it stacked high. I'll show you guys that. That's all. So I'm going to get back to work. So what did daddy find? Bones. Looks, Looks like, like cat, right? Yeah. There's the big front fang. Well guys, I think I'm done for now. I am hot and sweaty and thirsty and I didn't bring any water with me today, so probably gonna head home, take a break, but we got the job mostly done. The bottom of the house is gutted of all the insulation and underbelly, that feels good. I didn't get to the plumbing. You can see, it's no big deal. We'll do that later. We still have like a couple more days on the dumpster. And I'm a little bit worried because the dumpster is packed high. Let's go take a look at it. Guys, what do you think? Ashley stacked that thing high. I don't know what the dumpster company is gonna think of this.
Well, it's not so bad looking now. There's actually more room in there than I thought. It's just puffy. If we can get a few heavy things on top of that, it'll be fine. And they got that tarp they can stretch over. Well, I guess that's all we have for now. I have to get cleaned up. So thanks for watching, and until next time, take care. See ya. Bye.